It is Shalonen building time. I have been doing a bit of farming. We have a decent amount of these and a decent amount of those. If we need more, which we will need more of our boss shops, we do have a story quest, which I might do. I haven't done it on my main account, but that's fine. I might do that. First thing we're going to do is go over here and grab the weapon we're going to use in her. Because we want to run her on a defense weapon, I'm pretty sure. This weapon would be pretty good. If we want any more refinements, we're going to need more of these, but that's fine. We don't need any refinements at the moment. We just need this lovely defense weapon, which should work because I think all of Shalonen's stuff scales with her defense. Well, her healing and her damage scales with death, so I'm pretty sure you just want to build defense. Oh no, not these things. I'm just going to buy as many as we can because those things are the worst things in the world to farm because there's only like four of them in the world. Well, we can get it up to 60 for the time being, but we need more of those thingies. Without continuing the story more, which is going to be too painful to do, because we have to do all the stuff in here and I don't feel like doing that, we should be able to get Shalonen's weapon up at least a little bit. I don't think it would be that much, but maybe we can get it to level 80, maybe? So we will be able to get her weapon up to 70. Now we might be able to push 80. It might require a little bit of crafting and I might need to wait for tomorrow, but I might even be able to push 90. There is level 80. Are we going to be able to push 90? Not quite. So we'll, we'll deal with that later. For the time being, let's work on actually leveling up Shalonen. Books may be a problem, but we'll deal with that when it becomes a problem. There's level 70. Couple short of these to go to level 80, so we're going to need to farm them. And then we're going to be really short on books. I'm pretty sure we have like nothing left, so that is going to also be a problem. Before we start farming things, let's do talents. We want to do her skill first, then her burst. I don't know if the attack she does during her skill count as normal attacks. These things, are they open today? They are open today. So let me craft up. We have six of them because I used one already. I used a fragile resin. Okay, well, we have five runs now for this domain. We're going to try to get her talents up to, I think they're at six at the moment, or one of them is at six. We're going to try to get both of her skill and burst up to six. Then we can deal with that later. This one I probably won't touch because I don't think it's useful at all. Yeah, it doesn't say anywhere in here, but I don't think we need to level up this to do more of the damage from her skill so we won't bother with it because i want the other two to be a bit higher that intro animation i love it it's so good why the hell did she need scaramouche's drop that makes zero sense but okay sure why not okay let's see how far we can get this burst up we can get it to six beautiful i'm not going to touch anything else like i said we'll deal with this once we get her to her next ascension Speaking of which, we need more of these. I think what I'm going to do is do a story quest, and then if we need anything after that, I can go farm it. Well, that was a really easy quest. I was like a minute and a half, maybe. That was very easy. I'm pretty sure we've already started that quest, though, because there's no way that that was the entire thing. Well, this bit's pretty quick as well. I remember doing this on my main account. It doesn't take a long time, so we should be able to plow through this pretty quickly. The actual Shalonen part of it, though, I'm pretty sure is quite long. Now, there is actually something I do need to mention really quickly, or talk about a bit more. And that is, I think I should probably go into a little bit more background information about this account, just to try to clarify some things about what, what characters I can support and stuff. Because I feel like if I mention a little bit more about the first couple characters that I considered, it might clear things up a little bit, possibly. But basically, when I wanted to create this account, I'd been playing Genshin for like only like two months or something. I didn't, I didn't really have a good idea of what I was doing. But I just kind of did a bunch of Googling around at challenge accounts because I wanted to make a challenge account. And I saw that no one had done a supports only. So I figured, you know what, why not? I'll make one of them. But because I didn't really understand most things in Genshin by that point, it took me like six months to actually understand anything in Genshin. I didn't really know what characters to consider support. So I just Googled all support characters in Genshin. That quest was very quick. So I just used that list of characters and rolled with that. 
looking back on it, that list was probably very, very wrong. I'll throw up on screen right now all the characters that I did initially consider. They're all these. And yeah, as you can see, some of them are definitely not supports. Basically up until almost episode 30, I just been Googling all of the new characters and going, is X character a support? And that was how I decide things. Wasn't the best idea to be honest, because I think that's what's led to a lot of the confusion. Is because I initially, at the very start, considered like Yaelan and stuff like that as supports, which they're definitely not. I'm now actually reading through the talents of characters to actually get an idea if I count them as a support or not. But because the first couple characters were just off of Google, it's a little bit all over the shop. So the actual character restrictions aren't very strong or correct by any means. So there are some options we could do. We could just roll with the characters we've got and go, yeah, they're kind of not really supports, but it works, I guess. This account was never meant to be super, super challenging, but I feel like the characters we consider supports have sort of gone all over the shop at the moment and there's no real rules anymore. So the other option is we just fully redo all of the rules and rewrite the whole list of characters that we consider supports, which is sort of annoying because I already have a lot of them already leveled up, but it would work to completely redo the list. Characters like, say, Chong Yoon, even though he's literally max ascended, wouldn't really be counted as a support. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. We've got, you've got two options. You just, we can just leave it how it is and be all confused. Or we can rewrite the list of usable characters and go from there. I don't really mind. But yeah, it is quite confusing to the point where I don't even know what we're doing anymore. I would just see a comment going, oh, this character might be a support. I look in their talents and go, yeah, I guess. Why not? They can be a support as well. There's not much challenge to this account anymore. So I am very open to rewrite all the rules and remove a bunch of characters as supports, if that's going to make things more clearer and easy. Although the rules of this account aren't even that easy to understand in the first place. A quote-unquote support is a very subjective title. What some people consider supports might be completely different from other people. It's a bit all over the shop, but I could try to rewrite some things and make it a little bit easier to understand. But okay, that's, that's my rant over. Hopefully we can do something to clear up this account a bit and make it a bit more easy to understand. Only took us 50 something episodes to actually do something about it. I think that's all of the key points I wanted to talk about. Now let's get back into doing Shalon and Story Quest. Is it a requirement that anyone who crafts ancient names has to have leopard ears? Because I'm pretty sure both Shalonen and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. They both craft ancient names and they both have leopard ears. Well, there we go. There is Shalonen's story quest done. So, claim all of that lovely stuff. Now we can get Shalonen up to level 80. I guarantee you we're not... Oh, wait, we might have enough... No, we're not going to have enough to get her to 90. We also need more of these. Okay, well, let's go collect these. But before we go do that, we got two pulls from Shalonen. So... I don't think we're pity for anything, but maybe we can get two blues. Lovely. Okay, I went a tiny bit overboard, but they're pretty easy to collect, so that's fine. All of them done. Now we just need to do some crafting, and we'll be sweet. So, Shalonen can now go up to level 90, and she can go to 86, which is further than I thought. So let me grab some of them and let's go farm ley lines. Stuff has been farmed. That's only enough to get it to level 88. I guess that'll have to do for now. There's not really too much else I can do. I don't want to spend more fragile resin. So I will probably deal with the rest of her stuff tomorrow and finish her off. But she is basically done. We obviously have this stuff, so I might as well get her talents up a little bit. We can't go any further. So let me actually go craft some stuff and let's see if we can push those talents quite far. If we can get them both up to like seven or even eight, which it looks like we're going to be able to get one up to eight. I am happy. It's going to require a lot more to get to nine and... 
a pretty decent amount to get to eight. So I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm pretty happy with that. Two, eight, seven is pretty good. So I'll see you tomorrow and we'll finish everything else off and hopefully get her doing some good stuff, good damage buffing, good healing, all of the stuff we need. Okay, we have returned. I have already done all the farming I needed because it's boring and I just cut it out anyway. But it is all done. Shilonin is at 89, but we have everything we need. So boom, there we go. Shilonin can now go to level 90. She is now maxed out. Talents we can't do anything else with, but that's fine. Weapons, I have farmed all of these. I have definitely more than enough, but we can't get any of these today. We can only get them tomorrow. So unfortunately that weapon is going to have to stay at 80, but that is fine. So that just leaves artifacts, which I have already farmed because the stats I'm looking for are pretty easy to come by. So I do have some pieces on her that are pretty decent. This piece is the best sands I have, and this is the best feather I have. I mean, flower, I don't know how I keep getting them confused, but we have a few other stuff, so we'll just level everything up. Her stats, that's a really garbage piece, but her stats are pretty easy. We just want death to increase her healing, and then maybe a bit of ER to get that burst up a bit more regularly. Because she doesn't need any stats to do any of her buffing, that all just relies on talent level. The artifacts are only really helping her healing which makes it pretty easy to build her. Because of that, I am going to run her on a healing damage bonus circlet to increase her healing, because that's mainly, as I said, what the artifacts are actually doing. Can we stop getting crit damage? I, I mean, I love crit damage, but we don't need any more crit damage. We don't need crit damage for Shalone whatsoever. Oh my god, that's a lot of crit damage. Okay, well, that'll do. So, very easy. Now Shalone is all built. She's currently sitting at... 3,300 defense, 1,400 attack, incredible stats here, 35% healing bonus, and 133 ER, which is pretty good. Now, if I wanted to, I could also run her on a Favonius Sword, just for extra damage stuff and ER, but I think I am going to leave her on this one, because I'm most likely going to use her in a team with Barina, which she currently isn't in at the moment. But I'm going to most likely use her in a team with Farina. And I do want that healing because she has some pretty decent healing. And obviously a team with Farina needs pretty decent consistent healing. Let's actually see what she's doing. There you go. Healing for ticks of 8,000. 8, That's pretty good. Ticks of around 8,000 is pretty good. That's enough to get us some good extra healing to keep characters alive. But I mean, I might as well just try her out like this and see if we can increase Raiden Shogun's damage. I know how much my Raiden does and it should be pretty easy to see if we're getting a good increase. Obviously, Shalonen isn't doing a lot of damage. She did 13k on that initial hit, which isn't horrible, but it is certainly not very good. But that is to be expected. She's not built to do damage by any means. So let's do a really quick test. Raiden Shogun Burst, 170k. That is definitely an increase. These are now hitting around 20 to 30k's. So we are definitely getting an increase by a pretty decent amount, I think, as well. I think Raiden Shogun before was doing around 130k or even less, maybe 120. And now we're doing 170, which that is pretty nice damage. But she is basically just another Kazuha, so we can sort of use her in a bunch of different teams. The only restriction is those teams cannot be a Animo or a Dendro team. And kind of Geo, she sort of works, but not very well in Geo teams. So we'd want a team like we're currently running or something like that. But we could use her in a bunch of different teams. DPS Sijuin, we could use her in like a DPS Chi Chi maybe. Shalone is just one of those characters that sort of just slots into any team as a really good support for just about any team to, you know, shred resistances and heal and all that stuff. So she can just basically go on any team. Plus, she is one of the best characters to explore, especially in Atlan. I think that's about all we can do at the moment. Everything else kind of relies on things being open. So I think that's about as far as we can push Shalone in for the time being. Although I'm pretty happy with that build. It is pretty good. Almost 3,400 death is pretty good for Shalonen. 
she gets some good healing and all of her other damage buffing that just needs talent levels. So we will get around to getting this to level 9 because then we'd have maxed out damage buffing. But we're already getting like a, I don't know, like 50,000 extra damage or something like that from her buffing. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye. Thank you.